Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Camila Sole and this is my space. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi babe, hi bestie. I'm glad to have you back. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Like and share the channel to all your friends, family, and everybody you know. Just so you can, you know, we elevate and we, we, in fact, I produce more content. So judging from the title of the video, we will be talking all things tertiary institute to be more specific unisa the university of south africa where i am doing my course which is diploma in tourism management and i'm a first year student so this video will be a video where i tell you what goes down so if you're interested in knowing more then carry on your pants or like i look down i will be reading my notes off my laptop so i hope you guys don't mind so um UNISA is the University of South Africa, if any one of you doesn't know. It offers courses, it offers like degrees, diplomas, high certificates, masters, honors, PhDs, um, bridging courses. And we actually have to pass matric to get into UNISA. Don't come here and say, um, hi, I did my grade 11, um, can you help me get admitted into UNISA? I'm sorry that's not how it works it's it's a regular university but has university but it has bad pr also please excuse any background noise you hear some of them i have no control over so yeah as i said unisa is a regular regular university with bad pr and this is why it has bad pr so how to actually get into unisa Applica applications are quite similar to most universities in South Africa. They are like your regular UJ, VITS, CPUT, TUT universities. Obviously, some of them um, you have to pay for the application and some you don't. Well, in UNISA, you actually pay 120, which we'll talk about it later on in the video. You have to make sure your documents are say certified. And choose a correct delivery address for your study material, with which it's also downloadable on the university site. But I prefer having a hard copy. If you do let them deliver instead of you fetching it at your desired campus, they do deliver at like a later date. Like because uh, the second semester has started, but I think I'll be getting my study material in like end of august and out of already out of already what out of already submitted some assignments so that's like something you need to prepare yourself for but if you want them like as soon as possible as soon as your registration is finalized they do send you messages to collect at the campus you choose when you register um it's easily available online as i said you can download it but some people prefer hard copy, some people prefer it online. It's actually up to you. But at the end, you will get it. Well, I'm talking on an NSPAS funded student perspective. You also have to research on the modules you take because some modules need entries. Let me say, for instance, some people said financial accounting 1602 needs you to actually do financial accounting 1502 in the first semester before you take it. So there are some entry level modules that you need to take like a first module and then when you pass the module, you can take the second module. So like, what I'm saying is don't take both of the modules in the same semester. Through F and B, there is the, um, what the call this, where you pay and when you search the, recip the recipient, UNISA is a public recip a recipient. With like the FNB thingy, so you pay the one twenty there. You the, you'll be given a student number when you apply, so that is what you use for like reference. And if you don't get accepted, let's say you apply this year, and applications will be opening next month. Please note that Unisa does not do late applications in the start of the year. They only do like applications in the beginning of like the next coming year, and they do like second semester applications but they don't really like applications so if you pay the 120 and you apply and you do not get accepted 
I'll talk about the 2022, right? You'll apply for 2023. And if you don't get accepted, like maybe it's the only university you applied for, you can actually apply in 2020 three for 2024 and you don't have to pay the 120 like it's a once-off payment i do not know how other um application fees for university works so i just know that unisa which we are talking only about unisa in this video allows you to pay it once off and you can apply apply up until you are fulfilled or you get another university a different one ones off basically also guys <laughs> unisa is a long distance learning institute so they do not offer 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 in content well they do but you have to sign up for them it's not like you know maybe let's say you go to tut you know when you're like registering and preparing for the year that you're gonna have classes with unisa you have to sign up for classes and it's not guaranteed that you'll get a space because everybody wants classes obviously because we don't get classes you must be prepared to work your ass off if you're a person who can't cope on their own and work alone you are in it baby girl baby boy whoever you are it's a odel university which simply means it's an online distance university and your lessons are your responsibility and i want to tell you something when you submit assignments which you do online i use the module app or the my unisa website it's always advisable to submit a day or two earlier than submission dates because when load shedding two your data might run out because you're a student but some, some people do work when they study with unisa but we're talking from the perspective of me and you we're talking about my opinion on my channel now what might happen is you might run out of data or one thing that is always happening is the system crashes and the lecturers on your module side they will always know that they are not going to extend the assignment due date if it misses you or it passes you or you miss it then it's a fail you're gonna fail so it's always advisable to make sure that you know um about the due dates like they are always a constant thingy in your mind they are sampled they are stapled they are photocopied here that you know what this is a due date and i should at least do it two days like seven to two days earlier because like hmm their service site website was questionable i don't want to lie to you and i did talk about the extra classes that you aren't guaranteed space if you register for I must register for online classes. If you register for a course or your modules, I mean to say, um, and you actually look at them again like after you register, you reg when your registration is finalized, you can go on the module the website and check out what modules you're doing, what are they all about. If you see that one of them is going to be a problem, you can't handle it on your own. You can go on the student, what's it, my student, the my student thingy and you sign up for classes and if you do get a space you will be told and you will attend and you'll study and you'll be good but your responsibility it's like it's a big responsibility to study there i don't want to lie to you like inshallah i hate about being a unisa student is in as fast payments are always late no and as fast payments are late I remember in my first semester, I had um, a module that required me to use a laptop. It was um, an EUP. I had like PowerPoint and like Excel. And I obviously needed to use a laptop. Like, why would you do a PowerPoint on your phone? I didn't have a laptop. And as far as I hadn't like sent the money through like my book allowance, so I couldn't buy a laptop. And it only came through like in April. Yeah, late April. And it was close to like those semester was like close to ending. Luckily I knew someone who I once worked with and she let me use her laptop. So God bless her soul. But we are talking about NSPS payments are usually late. If you can do have a backup plan up until it pulls through. It gets better when you're a second year student because you already bought your laptop. 
in the first year. Also, another thing, do not, and I beg you, do not ever choose the laptop. Okay, they give you two options. It's either you get the book allowance, which is 5.2, 5,200 rands, or you choose to get a laptop, and I think you get like 1.3, I'm not sure. But the thing is, when we get our payments, you'll get your 1K. But your laptop is not going to come when we get our money. Your laptop might come in November, which is actually dumb. Because, like, why would they give you your laptop in November? What are you going to do throughout the rest, the rest of the year? What if you have a module that requires you to have a laptop? Like, think of it. It actually doesn't make sense. So, do not choose the laptop option. Like, you are getting advice from someone who's been there. I also got advice from people who were there. So, me, because I, I, I want you guys to know, I came on YouTube and I'm like, let me talk to these people about this university now because mm, we see things. And also, regular, like, contact universities get 1.5 living material allowance. Living material? Is it, no, we get living material. They get, like, an allowance. Well, see, Nisa, you get 290 rands living material allowance. As much as you don't go to school, like you're always home, 99% of the time, well, it's actually not cal 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 calculated, but like it's something I'm taking from my mind. 99% of the time, you won't gain access to the campus because people are striking, especially Sunnyside Campus. Sunnyside Campus is a ghetto, like... It's the ghetto. I don't want to say more. Like, you need to have inside campus. People are always striking. I always see on Facebook, people want to go to campus and, like, get their certificates. And graduations are always postponed. Like, I'm in this uni, ne? and you might look at this video and think I'm bashing them. But I'm, like, literally being honest. This is an honest, 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 honest thingy. So, you won't gain access because obviously people don't want to come you come in sometimes i track it for data because the only time we get data is when we're writing exams and we don't get anything like throughout the year so which is like two months which exam started in may and ended in june so we got data in may and june i wasn't writing exams i put polios and thingies so lucky me i hope it happens this semester too but you're what are i rambling about oh the people are striking, people are striking for their allowance to get what's that word in English? What's by you say I allowance to get to go higher, to become more. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. This is not an English lesson, but yeah. I also don't have like a student card because I I'm supposed to go to my campus which is in Florida. Florida, Miami. <laughs> Just joking. But yeah. I don't know when I'll go. Because I think I do. I, I, I need to get like... Yo, no, I'm tired. <laughs> I need to get a student card, you know? I need to get a student card. So, yeah. It's actually the ghetto. Like, I don't want to lie to y'all. It's the ghetto. Experience. So, Telegram should be your best friend. So... Telegram is a site that's similar to WhatsApp. I think they started using it when Corona began. Corona. <laughs> okay, Corona began. The number of students you can add in a group. So to avoid having like numerous numbers, numerous groups of students, they then went to Telegram where groups are always available. The only thing you need to do, you download the Telegram, you sign up, like enter details and whatnot. Go on to Chrome. Do the UNISA Telegram group module finder. You'll see the little bar up here there. You enter your modules, you join groups. Then you can get, let me tell you, in semester one, I had a module that required a prescribed module, prescribed book. So as I told you my problem with NSFAS, I didn't have any money to buy it. So what I did was I entered those groups and I actually got the prescribed book. Now, I entered my semester two module groups and I actually got a group that has the prescribed textbook. So, no, if you want to save money, as much as I hate PDFs, 
I really really like hard copies because you can look like this on notes but I don't have the money like I blew my book allowance I didn't even think about second semester that I'll need a prescribed book but because I know telegram has my back I was like baby baby girl join telegram like listen to me join telegram this is top tier advice from someone who has been there you don't take the supplies take it now and thank me later thank me later when you pass so let's talk about my first year experience the year has been quite bumpy i've named all the reasons here i know it seems like i'm giving a bad pr but people actually work like maybe people who work in like people who work nine to fives actually love Unisa because it gives them a chance to acquire a qualification while still you know getting that bag the bread for their families but for me I do not like it I don't like Unisa I'm planning on changing I'm still in the middle of doing that and I will be releasing a video or talking about the changing and whatnot if it actually happens then next year I'm gonna have some bomb as university content like and I'm not I'm not only thinking about content I'm thinking about I want to experience that it has been something I really wanted to experience I wanted to live on race I know people are gonna comment race is not all that let me go there and I'll tell you race is not all that I really want to experience it it has something I wanted it has been something I wanted to experience since from high school so I'm planning on changing and I only have this chance because as soon as I'm a second year student I won't get I won't be able to change because from the knowledge I've acquired from what I know you can only change when you're a first year student so also NSFAS has the N plus rule where if your qualification is three years they give you two more years to complete it if it's four years they give you six years to complete it where they'll be funding you so right now I'm actually thinking should I go over like and start over my first year again or should I just go forward with like second year like it's something that I've been thinking about but because I'm a content creator and I've already tell, told y'all about this I will definitely be keeping y'all in the loop creating videos about the entire process because I want y'all to experience this with me so Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm sure there were parts where I was rambling a lot, but I think with what I know and what I presented to you, you can make a better decision on whether you want to study with your niece or not. If you do, then good luck, baby girl. I wish you luck. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on my socials. I'll leave them probably on the screen down below. La 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 la. But yeah. I will see.